Welcome back, aviation enthusiasts, to another captivating episode of Aviation Unveiled. Today, we're delving into the future of aerial supremacy as the U.S. Air Force introduces a game-changing addition to its arsenal. Get ready to soar through the skies of innovation as we unveil the remarkable F-22 Raptor equipped with cutting-edge laser technology. Before we dive into this groundbreaking development, let's take a moment to understand the evolution of aerial warfare. From the iconic dogfights of the past to the stealthy marvels of today, technology has consistently pushed the boundaries of what's possible in the skies. Enter the F-22 Raptor, a marvel of engineering that has dominated the skies since its inception. Its agility, speed, and stealth capabilities have made it a force to be reckoned with. But now, a new chapter unfolds as the Raptor embraces laser technology to take its power to unprecedented heights. Two U.S. Air Force F-22 Raptors landed at Clark Air Base in the Philippines last week in a move signaling increased defense efforts between the two countries. During the exercise, U.S. pilots from the Alaska-based 525th Fighter Squadron joined aviators from the Philippine Air Force's 5th Fighter Wing for low-altitude flyovers, air combat maneuvering, formation training, and with help from a KC-135 Stratotanker, air-to-air -air refueling over the heavily contested South China Sea. This was the first time that F-22s, or any 5th generation aircraft, have landed on and operated out of the Philippines, Captain Carl Schroeder, one of the Raptor pilots, said in a release. This milestone with a regional ally aids in providing stability and security to the Indo-Pacific. Regional stability has become an increasingly glaring focus of the two militaries as threats continue to emerge out of Beijing. While the Philippine constitution prohibits permanent basing of foreign troops, the two nations' enhanced defense cooperation agreement does allow for an increased footprint of American forces by way of rotations to a handful of predetermined locations. The EDCA is a key pillar of the U.S.-Philippines alliance, which supports combined training, exercises, and interoperability between our forces, DOT officials said in February. Expansion of the EDCA will make our alliance stronger and more resilient, and will accelerate modernization of our combined military capabilities. The EDCA includes granting U.S. forces access to a number of military camps, one of which, Basa Air Base in Pampanga on the island of Luzon, just launched a $25 million renovation of its runway in preparation to be used as a hub for joint task force exercises and humanitarian assistance, USNI News first reported. Four other identified sites currently slated to host U.S. rotations are Mactan Benito Ibuan Air Base, Cebu, Antonio Batista Air Base, Palawan, Fort Magsaysay, Nueva Ecija, and Lumbia Air Base, Cagayan de Oro. Additional locations that have not yet been identified are expected to be unveiled in the near future. In a separate step toward countering Chinese aggression and propaganda, the Philippine Coast Guard announced on March 8 that it would begin publicly disclosing aggressive actions taken by China in the South China Sea. Recently released footage depicted one such incident on February 6, during which a ship belonging to the China Coast Guard aimed a military laser at a Philippine vessel, briefly blinding some crew members. The string of announcements in recent months follows a period of tension between the U.S. and the Philippines, when former Philippine President Rodrigo Duterte threatened to sever military relations with Washington and cozy up to China and Russia. Duterte's successor, Ferdinand Marcos, has worked to thaw relations, even hosting Vice President Kamala Harris in November. The Philippines appears to be divided over expanding the EDCA to allow U.S. military bases. Anna Malindongwai, Senior Research Fellow of the Global Governance Institution, and Vice President of External Affairs of the Asian Century Philippines Strategic Studies Institute, opposed the U.S. pitting the Philippines in a compromising position and contributing to its already deteriorating relationship with China. It creates, 
instability as you militarize one country in the Asia Pacific and ASEAN, the tendency for others is to militarize too. The Philippines doesn't have an enemy, while the US has a lot of enemies. So if they engage in a war, even if we are not part of it, we are obliged because of the US-Philippine Mutual Defense Treaty, Anna said in an interview with the Global Times. Meanwhile, the country's Senator Chiz Escudero criticized China for not allowing the Philippines to pursue its own foreign policy. Another political figure, Senator J.V. Ejercito, said that China claims to be a friend to the Philippines, but what they are doing is contrary to what they are saying. Nevertheless, the F-22 visit lays a credible groundwork for any such future basing of U.S. military forces in the country and seeks to assure U.S.-leaning politicians and the strategic community of its reliability in the event of a war with China. It also promises possible joint operations with the cutting-edge fighter, as Captain Joe Bauman from the 525th Raptor Squadron was quoted saying so in the USAF Media Wing report. With any operation, there are always multiple roles and responsibilities to make the mission happen. With the F-A-50's capability for the precision strike and the Raptor's ability to establish air dominance, we make a lethal combo to support one another on multiple mission sets, he said. Imagine a fighter jet armed not only with missiles and cannons, but also with the raw power of lasers. This is no longer a concept from science fiction. It's a reality. The F-22 Raptor's integration of laser technology brings precise targeting, unmatched speed of light, and enhanced mission flexibility. The South China Sea, a region of strategic importance, has witnessed heightened tensions in recent times. The deployment of the F-22 Raptor with laser technology adds a new layer to the geopolitical landscape. Its ability to deter potential threats and engage with unmatched precision showcases the U.S. Air Force's commitment to maintaining stability. As we reflect on this revolutionary development, it's clear that the F-22 Raptor's integration of laser technology is reshaping the future of aerial combat. The advancements we're witnessing today are a testament to human ingenuity and our relentless pursuit of excellence in defense technology. Thank you for joining us on this awe-inspiring journey into the world of aviation innovation. The deployment of the F-22 Raptor with laser technology marks a pivotal moment in the annals of history, reminding us that the sky is not the limit, it's just the beginning. If you enjoyed this episode of Aviation Unveiled, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more riveting insights into the world of cutting-edge technology and aerospace excellence. Until next time, blue skies and safe flights.